Hi guys, welcome back. Hi, my fellow Junebugs. Thank you so much for joining me again in this video. Today, I have got a tag video. I was tagged quite some time ago by Mel and Isabel. I can't recall anyone else who's tagged me because it was so, so long ago. But it is the $10,000 handbag tag. So basically, this tag was created by Cassie Thorpe, who I adore. I've been actually following her for quite some time, ever since I sort of was looking into getting the Fendi bag, which I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, I've followed her for quite some time. She is stunning and also she is hilarious and her handbag collection is to die for. So all good things. You have to check her out. You have to go and follow her. You will not regret it. But she created this tag. It's basically a tag video where you had to start again. You only had $10,000 to spend on your entire handbag collection. Like that is it. You're not buying any more bags. What would you spend it on? And I, I was so reluctant to do this tag because I was just like, Dang, that is way too hard. And it literally took me like an, a good couple of hours to actually figure out, you know, what I would go to repurchase at, knowing that I really can't buy any other bags. So I thought long and hard about this one and I think I've finally come, come up with a combination. I think this is good, but honestly, like I'm still like not sure because it's such a big decision and like $10,000 is not a lot in the luxury world. Um, $10,000 on a handbag collection is not that much um, but I have decided to go US dollars because I want to get my money's worth. Um, so if this interests you and you want to hear what I've picked out do stay tuned um, and subscribe if you haven't already and do check out my other videos if you also like handbags like myself. So $10,000 you know, your whole collection was stolen, let's say, or burnt down in fire and insurance was like, here you go, $10,000 for everything you owned. I would be like suing them, first of all, I'd be like, uh, no. Um, but <laughs> it's not a lot, okay? So I thought long and hard and like still, I'm like, is that really what I would get? Am I missing out on anything? Obviously my handbag collection right now is like, everything I want. Like I'm so happy with my handbag collection. It's taken me quite a few years but overall I'm really really happy with it. But there's just so many pieces in here that I would not be able to afford in a $10,000 budget. So knowing that this is the only handbags that I could have, I really wanted to get bags that I know I would love. I know are classic and would last me a long time but also still fun and trendy does that make sense like I feel like right now as much as I love classics I do enjoy like a something a bit different anyways without further ado you guys let's get on to the bags that I've chosen the first bag that I've chosen it's not going to be any surprise it is going to be a Chanel classic flap here I have my birthday bag this is my twin bag this is a Chanel classic flap in the red lambskin leather with gold hardware um, given that I have a budget I will not be purchasing this particular bag I would probably be getting a vintage bag in black lambskin leather with gold hardware I found one on fashion file I've tried to stay true to um, what I would actually do so if I had to restart again I would still be buying pre-loved I would still be buying handbags um, from the secondhand market I wouldn't just go out and spend my money on brand new bags and I don't think there was a precedence that it had to be all brand new so I'm doing what I would normally do and that is sticking to vintage Chanel. The bag that I found from Fashion File is $3,295 so this is the first bag that I would buy and um, a black vintage classic flap you cannot go wrong I would go in the small um, because that is like the size I have preferred lately because it's large enough for day to day but small enough to wear in the evening as well. So that is the first bag that I would choose. The next obvious choice for me was going to be a large Louis Vuitton bag, like an everyday tote bag and I really, I really, really struggled to decide between this Louis Vuitton Noé bag or the Louis Vuitton um, never full and to be honest I do use this quite a lot and you know I got this for a really really good price at $250 but obviously if I lost all of my bag collection I probably would not be able to find this again for $250 anyways I did actually decide to go the never full the never full is a amazing tote it is basic AF but the reason everyone loves it is because it is so amazingly useful, functional, like grab and go, 
dump bag. So this would be my go-to tote bag that I would wear all the time. We're at work, um, whenever I need to bring a ton of things and a bag that is also very minimal as in like it's not obviously Louis Vuitton. Um, I would go pre-loved on this because I don't need the pouch um, and I would save a ton of money. So I found this on Fashion File for $795. That brings us to a total of $4,000. $90 so we're nearly halfway already dang so anyways that those are the first two bags that I would have purchased straight away and then at least you've got like a going out nighttime sort of special occasion bag and you've got a nice big tote bag most of the bases are now covered great the next bag I wanted to get is a sure favorite of mine and I honestly cannot see my collection without it so much so that I, I like I'm so tempted to buy like another one just because I get into this weird thing where if I love something I need to have multiples of it and it's just absolutely bizarre I can't explain it but <laughs> the bag that I wanted to buy is the Louis Vuitton bum bag this is such an amazing bag I reach for it constantly it is such a casual like chic like super cool bag and I don't actually wear it as a bum bag I wear it as a sort of cross body and um, I don't mind that this has LV all over because as it gets older as it becomes more vintage it will just look amazing this one I would buy brand new in store because I don't think you can really get this for um, you know a very cheap price on the pre-love market um, and so this goes for 1690 so I'm gonna add that which brings our total to $5,780 but yeah this bag is just amazing absolutely love it definitely would have to repurchase this if I lost all my handbag collection again so that is that one so moving on, the next bag I would have to get, some of you guys may be surprised, but I just feel like if I was just to have like this collection for the rest of my life, this is so functional and sort of just ticks all the boxes that I, I had to add it. So it is the YSL Kate Tassel bag. You guys have seen that I purchased this a long, long time ago. I haven't worn it in quite some time because I do have like a Chanel Classic flap in the caviar with silver hardware. And so I don't reach for this as much but if I was restarting my collection and I only had $10,000 I would not be able to afford a Chanel classic flap with silver hardware as a different color bag like as a silver hardware bag I would choose this one because it's got a bit of the logo which is nice and blingy but for me I need to have a bag with silver hardware I do not like mixing and matching metals. I'm a stickler for sticking to the same metals so I definitely need a bag with silver hardware. This one is the bag that I chose um, in black so I can wear it like with what I'm wearing now and I would re-pick it in the crock emboss and this is a medium flap so this will fit a lot more than the Chanel classic flap so it's a bit better for times when you need a bit more stuff. So this one I found on Selfridges for 2245 so let's add that which brings our total to $8,025. Now the next bag is going to come as a bit of a surprise to you guys but I just feel like as a vintage lover I knew I had to have like a vintage piece in my collection um, and I chose the Dior like Trotter vintage bag now this I actually got for ooh, about 300 Australian dollars but I don't know how much these are going for now but I did actually find one on eBay which is a clutch version for $250 for me having a vintage bag like this is so um, it's so nice because it's just different and I love having like quirky older pieces and the Trader print is super duper nice. I contemplated between a Trader print and the Gucci print. I honestly don't mind. I think if I can find one for about 250 with either print, I'd be pretty happy but I've just chosen to get this because it's um, what I could find um, but obviously if I was patient I probably could find one in Gucci but it doesn't matter because I have another Gucci bag that I want to share with you so this one $250 
which brings our total to 8275. Uh, the next bag, I actually don't have it here to share with you because I don't have it in my collection, but I've thought about it for quite some time. The next bag that I would actually purchase is the Gucci Super Mini, and I would purchase it in a color. I couldn't decide between the red with the gold hardware or the pink with silver hardware, but honestly, at the moment, I'm really, really loving pink, so I would probably be leaning towards the, the pink, but Again, I'm not 100% sure, but I just need a pop of color and I love a red bag or a pink bag, so either one is fine. And that one retails for $890, which brings our total to $9,165. Um, American dollars and so the last and final thing I wanted to add I knew I had to have a backpack like I love 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 backpacks I have a few and I absolutely adore them I have a vintage Fendi which I got for a thousand Australian dollars which would certainly fit, fit into the budget but I was just like what are the chances of anyone finding this bag and like if I was to restart over what are the chances of me actually finding this bag again slim to none so i wanted to be realistic and the bag that i've chosen to get is the louis vuitton Montserrat. such a gorgeous bag i absolutely love this bag i don't wear it as much because this was my very very first ever pre-loved piece and i am a bit protective over it it is in the most gorgeous amazing condition so i kind of wanted to keep it that way but this bag i found on fashion file for 755 American dollars that brings us to 9920 American dollars which is under budget yes <laughs> So this bag I've chosen because I love a backpack and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous one. It's beautiful and vintage looking and as it gets older with age, it will look more and more amazing. I couldn't decide between the MM version or the GM because I do have both and I do use both. But I think as much as I love the GM for like literally, you know, carrying anything and everything, I do think the MM is more versatile if I wanted something that I could wear like just as a styling piece as well so as functional as a gm is um i feel like the mm is just more versatile so those are my pieces do let me know what you guys think i honestly struggled so hard to think of the bags that i wanted to get that would actually just be in my collection for a long long time and i think i have a little bit of everything that i'm really into right now like it it's really hard to know what you want in the future and I mean like I don't have any speedies here if you guys can tell but I really wanted pieces that I I love not just because they're a classic and they're just there and I just had to have them like if I had to have bags that I would use regularly these would have to be it and I mean I, we don't have much of a budget so I really try to be as selective as I can in terms of versatility and functionality and having a bit of a range now I could have gone all pre-loved and I could have certainly added more but I think that if I was to restart I still would want to buy some brand new pieces. So yeah, that's why I have like new pieces from Louis Vuitton and a, a new like YSL and then all the others are like vintage or second hand. So I tried to be as realistic as possible, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of my selection. If you've done this video, please do send it to me. I'd love to watch it. Do check out Cassie's video. And if anyone hasn't done it, although I think I am literally the last person in YouTube land to have done this tag video. I will tag them in the comment section below. But if not, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. And as always, hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.